All right, this is Firemine here, and today we are going to learn how to create a simple portal effect. So I have two portals here, and I can go into this portal and come out of this portal. And this effect is actually super simple. It's not very pretty yet, but it does the justice. So you come out of this one, uh, out of this one once you go into this one. So yeah, it's only like five lines of code and super easy to achieve. So, I hope you will enjoy. Okay, so I got my scene ready here. I have my first person player. And I'm going to create a portal here and a portal somewhere over here. And then I want to be able to walk into this one portal and then come out, out of the other portal. To do this, let's create our first portal. I'm going to use a package from the asset store called Vibrant Effects Textures. You can, of course, just use any game object you want. I like to use this one. So I'm going to go into that here and um, take the energy point. So I'm going to drag that energy point into my scene. And I have this nice kind of particle system going off here. I'm going to make a few modifications to it so it looks a little bit more like a portal, less like a bonfire. I'm going to unpack the prefab completely so I can modify it. Then click on that layer here and delete it. So I only end up with the core part of it. That's what I want. Then I want to make it a little bit bigger. So let's put this onto four and this one onto six. That way we have a nice big particle system. All right, also I wanna go down to renderer here, change the render mode to mesh. And then instead of cube, I'm gonna go for a sphere. So we have this kind of planetary portal thing going on. All right, now that I have that, let's go up here and add a component to it, which is gonna be a sphere collider. Make sure the radius is not too big, so maybe set that to three. So this looks like kind of wraps the whole particle system. And then from here, I want to duplicate that so I get my second portal. So by the way, let's call this one portal in and this one here portal out. Now let's drag portal out over here. And I also want to give this a different color. Again, not necessary, just my preference. So let's give this a dark color and the inside a kind of bright blue-ish. I think I'm at the wrong way around. Let's make this dark and oops. And this guy kind of bright. Yeah, whatever. It's that's just really not making this pretty now. I'm just gonna show you the effect. So we have our two portals lined up. So I'm actually gonna move this one way further over here. So like the transition will be a bit more obvious. So I have the portal in game object here and I'm gonna add a component. I'm gonna call that portal controller. Edit the portal controller. And then in here, delete all that. You don't need none of that. Now you want to add a new public game object and call that M portal out. And now you want to take the on collision function on collision enter. You want to take the collision object, get the game object which it collided with, which is going to be your player. And you're going to take the transform position and assign that to the M portal out transform position. And that's it. That's all the code you need. I have this code on my website, which is called firemindacademy.net. You can find the link for that in the description down below. But honestly, if you're too lazy to write even this amount of code, maybe you shouldn't be making games. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to my scene and here on the portal in, we can see that we have now 
this slot for portal out. Let's drag that in there. And if we hit play now, you can see that if we run into this one, we come out of this one. And yeah, that's it. That's how we can achieve that portal effect. You can also modify the, the position of where you getting spawned here. So if you go back to the code, you can make modifications to that, to wherever the position is. And you can also define the rotation of where your player is looking. So this looks a little bit smoother, but for this tutorial, it's only about actually achieving the transformation effect. So yeah, that's it, pretty simple. So if you like the tutorial, please leave me a like. If you wanna see more tutorials, please subscribe. If you have any questions, ask in the comments down below. And if you have any other tutorial requests. Can't find the tutorial you are looking for? Well, just ask for it then. Just go to tutorial-request.com and check out if other people are searching for the same tutorial as you do. If you find a matching request, make sure to leave it a like so other creators always know what's in demand. And if you can't find a request that you are looking for, just create a new one. Simply click on New Request, then choose a title, topic, and description for your request, and simply click on Make Request, and you're done. It's that easy. And with your request, you help creators know what's in demand. So go over to tutorial-request.com and sign up today. It's free.